What's going on guys? Today we are going to be checking out how to get Android Lollipop on your Moto E before even the official update. So you might be knowing that the soap test has been captured and uploaded in XDA but there are a whole lot of different OTAs captured like in the form of loop flashable ones and much more like that. Now I suggest you to download the original OTA update rather than the root flashable one or those which are claimed to be as ROMs and stuff because flashing those at times you might get errors. Now to avoid that what we're going to be doing is we'll be just flashing the stock Moto E 4.4.4 firmware and then upgrade to the Lollipop. So this is the Lollipop OTA zip. Let it be there as it is and over here in the phone make sure you're in a stock ROM and in the stock recovery. Now it doesn't matter if you are in stock recovery or not because we are going to be flashing the firmware. Now you can use either minimal ADB and fastboot or mfastboot that's on your wish but that program must have the fastboot feature. So I've connected my device to the PC and then I'll be using minimal ADB and fastboot. So that's all Hmm. All right, so I've just uh, extracted all the firmware files over here in the minimal ADB and fastboot folder. Now that it's done, we'll be opening the minimal ADB and fastboot command prompt. ADB reboot bootloader. So it will be rebooted to the bootloader instantly, and then. That's this XDA link given below. From here you can actually download the stock Motorola firmware which I have extracted in this folder. So these are the files that I've extracted and a few commands with which you have to flash the firmware. Right now if you're using mfastboot then you can simply copy this whole thing and then paste it in your command prompt. But since I'm just using minimal ADB and fastboot, I have to avoid this letter M. Alright, so let's start flashing. You need to do everything in a single sequence. So copy and then paste. And then copy that. Paste. copy this so like this we'll be pasting every file now in this sparse chunk part if you're using xt1022 that is the Indian variant then click to show this content and you need to use these three commands avoid 123 and use 012 and then it works Alright, so we have used these three uh, commands for our Moto E because my Moto E is XT1022, that is the Indian variant. But if yours is not the Indian variant and something apart from that, then you shall use these three commands. Right now, since I use these three, I'll be skipping off these three above and then we'll go for the next command. Alright, finally, you can reboot your device and check if the device boots into KitKat, that is the official firmware that we flashed just now. Alright, now it's rebooting. Until that, let me tell you what you have to do with the Android Lollipop OTA file which you just downloaded. Simple thing, just rename it and then the numbers which you see over here, change it to 22 
21 and 32. Once that's done, you need to copy this and paste it in your device. So yes, as you can see, I have pasted the official Android L update zip into my internal storage of the device. Now let's switch to the phone. But yes, before I could go there, let me tell you that in the description I have updated all the links of the, those XTA pages that I used for creating this tutorial. Do check them out, it will be helpful to you. Okay, so there are actually two ways through which you can update. Either by placing the update file in your internal XT card and then going to the system update and searching for it, it can automatically detect your update and then it will update it automatically actually. But if that does not work out, you can still go for the second way, that is the ADB side load, which I'll be showing right now. So for that, we need to boot into bootloader. Okay, once we boot it in the bootloader, go down and select recovery. So remember that we don't have any custom recovery installed and that's the stock recovery which will look something like this. A dead Android logo should be visible right now. Yes. So as soon as you get this one, you have to press the volume up button and the volume, I mean volume up button and the power key together for a few seconds and then let it go. Right. Once that's done, use the volume button to scroll down and then hit the power key to select apply update from ADB. And then we connect our device to the PC. Now let's get back to the PC. Alright, so we have given apply update over ADB in the recovery. So what we got to do now is copy or cut this lollipop update, go to the ADB folder, whichever you are using. Uh, right now I'm using minimal ADB and password, so I paste it here. And yes. So once it's done, we open the command prompt. That's the minimal ADB and password command prompt, and hit the command ADB side load. Okay, no spelling mistake. ADB side load, and then remember the file name actually. So it starts with blur, type in blur, and then hit tab, it automatically detects and hit enter. So this should start pushing the lollipop update into the device like you can see right now it's ongoing. But if you see that the device is not connected error at the top then don't worry you can actually use another file called the ADB installer. I'll be leaving the link in the description below for that also. So this is it, download it and then install the ADB driver using this one. Alright, so once it's done here, let's move on to the device. Alright, so once the ADB side loading is done in the PC, over here in the device there are a last few steps going on and then soon you'll see the device booting into Lollipop. So let's wait for that and get back. Alright, so once you see the script succeeded message, then that's it. The Android Lollipop is finally installed in your phone and you can reboot your system now. So that was pretty much it about the update on Android Lollipop to your device. That was it. If you liked it, do hit the like button below. Subscribe for more such awesome things coming up. And share it with your friends for those who want to get their hands on with the Lollipop. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.